Hello everybody, uh, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to change the transmission fluid uh, for the Kuga 1.6 liter. So, first of all, I would like to let you know uh, the tools and the materials uh, for your work. Firstly, uh, you should have the jack and adjust that, and uh, you, have, you can have a rubber to protect your frame rail and of course you need the automatic transmission for it and using the Mercon LV uh, this one 4.73 liter should be good for one one time change and you should have uh, about 9 liter total if you change two times and you need to take off your passenger side wheel uh, so I, I, I need to have the uh, electric wrench and the head socket and the adapter for the wheel nut and some kitchen tissue and to check the oil temperature I will be using the old DD link MX bus and the gloves and the protective eyeglass torch and to top down the nuts I have the uh, top wrench and you can have the wrench the wrenches for the for the nut for the uh, transmission drain part and the oil level check part 11 millimeter and 14 millimeter and of course you have to have the oil pan and the wheel chalk and this is for the wheel nut the breaker bar and the top wrench for safety consideration you chop the both sides of the rear wheel and then uh, you have to break open the wheel nuts just break open it and then you we, we will lose it using the electric wrenches with the breaker bar and then I will jack up the car and remove the wheel Okay, now the wheel is off the ground. Before you check up the car, I would suggest you measure the height of the of your car because uh, when we measure the oil level, we have to measure uh, with the car level. So, as I have measured before, it is about twenty three point four centimeters. Uh, according to the checker point here to the ground to the floor so because when we measure we will lower the jack to the same height with the wheel on so I suggest you to measure your own car height but for your reference uh, my car height is about 23.4 centimeters from the Female to the ground. As you can see now, the wheel is off the ground. Now I'm removing the wheel nut with an electric wrench. After you remove the wheel, you can take the chance to inspect your uh, big pen thickness also. I think it's still good. 
about I think about half, just more than half, I believe. Okay, as you can see here. It is the this one is for the drain pump, the drain nut. After we lower the car to the uh, leveling uh, with the fuel on height, I will uh, take out this part and then drain the fluid out, the transmission fluid out. For the oil level check pack, you can follow this way. Yeah, it is uh, fourteen. As you can see, last time I changed already. I have to make a mark with a pen. So, we mark a pen. So, whenever next time you uh, tighten the nut, this is for your reference. And I've also made a mark here, as you can see, for the drink pump. Okay. The spare scratch, uh, I've already removed it because I've just changed the engine oil. And then I will lower the car as the same level with the wheel on. First of all, I check up the car first so that this latch is up. Okay, and then I slowly release the button. For the auto jet. Okay, now the, the car is lowered with the same level with the wheel on, so uh, I will start to drain the fluid out. Lose the nut. Okay, and then locate the fuel pump. Uh, okay, here yeah, it is. This one. Before removing it, use the kitchen paper to clean it. Okay, I've removed the fuel pump. There it is, the coin LV. And the fuel hole is like this. Okay. For the tools, I forgot to tell you, you have to buy this kind of uh, funnel. It's a long one. So that you can put to the Hole. Yeah. I'll just show you the drain pump, just like this. Okay, for the drain pump, uh, you can tighten it to 12 newton meters. Or after you tighten it, align the same mark before. Hand tighten and then tighten with the head socket, head wrench. I will try to, because the working space is very tight. So, uh, you try to tighten it with the head wrench or tighten it by hand.
Okay, I'm going to fill the automatic transmission for it. And this one is about 4.73 liters. As I will fill about 4 liters more, I think 4.25 liters. So I think I will left just about 0 0.5 liters. Here, 0 0.5 liters. Okay. Okay, and then here, here. As uh, this one I used before from the last change, as uh, using this big bottle is a little bit too difficult to, to fill out, or it, it will be easy to splash, the oil will be easy to splash around everywhere. So I will put it in the small bottle first and then fill it. Okay, filling now. Make sure the filling funnel is clean. I just find out that there's some dirt. Be reminded to check. Otherwise, it will destroy your transmission. Okay, I continue using the big bottle to fill. Make sure there's a no leaking. You check. near the filling hole. Okay, now start your engine. And remember Press your brake and your handbrake is on. Make sure. Okay. Press your brake. Okay, and slowly cycle. Remember, press your brake because you are on the jack stand. Your car is on your jack stand. Okay, cycle your parking lever. Cycle your shift lever. P. Reverse. Neutral. Drive. Sports. Reverse, drive, neutral, reverse, park, okay, release your brake, okay, wait for a while until your engine temperature is uh, going to normal, and then I'm going to connect the OBD link to check the engine oil fluid temperature. The temperature I just measured is only about 40 Celsius degrees Celsius, so I have to run the car. So I have to do an initial check first and I uh, unscrew the oil level cup and, and see if the pressure is correct or not. So I have unscrew the oil level cup and I just feel 4 from 4.1 liter only. As you can see, obviously there is no oil coming out, so I have to add some transmission oil until some oil is coming out. Okay? As you can see now, some oil is coming out, and that's it. I will close the pump. I have uh, screwed in the pump again, and the top about this part is about uh, eight newton meters. You can make sure there's no leak, and you go for a ride. So I measure. With the wheel and measure the height from a fixed point. Okay. Zero point two three seven. So 
when I measure the oil level, I will have the same height at the same point as a reference. Okay. A measure from the transmission box. And I use two two reference. Okay. Uh, I'm ready. Very hot, huh? You must have put on the gloves. Wait for a moment. I suggest you to put on two drops. Waiting the fluid about to slow down the fluid and then I will post the oil level checking cup. Okay, I can close the cut now. It's slow down already. Okay. That's it, and then uh. Close it properly, 8 Nm And we will finish the first change, oil change of the transmission